So guys, let's see what is Spark Streaming. Before we actually look into what is Apache Spark Streaming, let's see what do we mean when we say data is coming in a streaming form or what is a data stream? A data stream is defined as and when data is arriving continuously in the form of an unbounded sequence. So there is no beginning or end of that data which is coming uh, continuously like you like in case of a file system you have a beginning or the end of the file but when the data is coming in the stream mode it is coming continuously in the form of an unbounded sequence there is no beginning or end of that data and in the streaming context data flows at a very high frequency compared to the batch system and that is that is why we need a processing engine which can work at at such a high frequency so that it can match the pace with how the data is coming to a system and we can process it at the same speed. So that is the reason why do we uh, need a Spark system. Now let's see what is Spark streaming. So primarily Spark streaming is a processing engine which needs to work at a higher frequency to match the data ingestion flow. That is why it works uh, as a low latency uh, processing engine to analyze and uh, to analyze and store the stream data processing results now during data processing how spark operates is it separates the continuous flowing data now data is continuously flowing there is no beginning or end for that data so spark itself divide that data into smaller batches so based on some uh, uh, algorithm uh, which could be function of time or say size of the data that continuous data can be divided into smaller pieces and these smaller pieces can then be worked upon as the data processing happens say in, in the usual batch mode with Spark core. So you have a continuous stream of data coming to a system, Spark intercepts it, convert it into smaller pieces based on some algorithm and then these, these smaller pieces can be processed uh, in as it happens in the batch mode so guys a uh, little bit of history here uh, apache uh, spark streaming was added to uh, to the apache spark in 2013 and the most highlighted part of spark streaming is it can do the data processing of live live streams live data streams with 100% fault tolerance and scalability. So 100% fault tolerance means there is a 100% guarantee of zero data loss there. So there are mechanism in place to do the fault tolerance. Uh, some of the mechanisms are checkpointing and write ahead logs used to do the fault tolerance in the streaming world. And uh, as you know, uh, Apache Spark is horizontally scalable and it, it same applies true in the streaming context as well. Um, in the Spark, Apache Spark streaming world, data can be ingested uh, through many sources. There are out of the box connectors and adapters provided for many um, high, frequ uh, high frequency, low latency systems like Kafka, Apache Flume, Apache Kinesis, or even at the TCP socket layer, uh, Apache Spark Streaming can handle the data ingestion. And then, as we have discussed, star stream processing happens usually uh, as it happens in the batch world with the help of high-level APIs and functionalities provided like map, filter, uh, group by, join, window functions, etc. Um, as it happens in the batch world, in the streaming world also, uh, once the data processing has happened, these process data set could be pushed out on the underlying file system or some NoSQL databases or can be directly fat, fed to the live dashboards. So all these facilitations come out of the box in Apache Spark Streaming. Let's see how internally Apache, Apache Spark Streaming works. So Apache Spark Streaming works on the concept of micro batch processing 
as we discussed in the previous slide, as data is continuously flowing in, into the system, a spark divides it into smaller pieces, and those smaller pieces are then further processed. So this whole concept of uh, dividing them into smaller pieces is called micro batching in the spark steaming world. Uh, these batches are then finally aggregated uh, these are processed uh, individually and then the processing results are aggregated to produce the result of the final stream. So the most highlighted part of uh, how Apache Spark Streaming is different from say other st stream processing engines like Storm is that it works on the context is works it works on the concept of micro batch processing. Uh, let's see a little more uh, detail internals of uh, Apache Spark Streaming. Uh, all these smaller batches or micro batches created by uh, Spark Stream are represented at the data abstraction unit as D streams. And D streams stands for discretized streams. And this D stream is the basic data abstraction unit in, this, in the streaming context as RDDs are in the batch or core context. So it is similar. Uh, like RDDs, in fact, these streams are built on top of the Spark RDDs. They represent those micro or smaller batches created by Spark uh, in the as the data abstraction unit, and then you can apply different transformations and actions on top of these D streams. So, guys, that's it in uh, this video about Spark streaming. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.